thought we were boys. This looks fun. Transformers Rise of the Beast roars into theaters this weekend. The movie looking to open big worldwide, but will it stay strong at the box office? We want to bring in movie critic Gray Drake for her review. Welcome back. I have to say uh, the guys in my household want to go see this movie and they want it to be good. So what do we think of the newest? Well, a couple of questions for you. Okay. First of all, <laughs> do you love 90s hip hop but hate anything resembling a plot? Yes. <laughs> and um, also, do you enjoy watching pieces of metal get angry at other pieces of metal? Well, sure. I like 90s hip hop. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. So there's one check. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And so that's kind of my thing with Transformers okay. is that it's exactly like all the other movies, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Right. right. And it has enough new elements that people who are excited are going to stay excited. Okay. 90s hip hop, actors normal. Anthony Ramos from In the Heights and Dominique Fishback from Swarm on Amazon Prime. And it's, you know, it's, there's a gorilla and he's a machine and his uh, name is Optimus Primal. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> right. So it's, it didn't do a lot for me, but I think like you get to see Brooklyn and Peru in the same movie. So okay. we don't okay. ask yeah. a lot. I feel you're our... reaching a little bit. I know. I, feel I know you, you can feel it. I, I stretched before this, you know, to limber up. <laughs> so uh, talk about Flamin' Hot Cheetos or it's, it's just Flamin' Flamin Hot, Hot. Yeah. based on Flamin' Hot Cheetos directed by Eva Longoria. What yes. do you think? And I always am, I haven't wanted Cheetos so bad in my life. Oh, well, girl, you're, you don't live at my house then because I, I want them every day. Oh, God. Okay, well, when you're watching this movie, your supply will be in place <laughs> because this is a true story really? about a California native. His name is Richard Montanez, and he was this guy growing up in Ontario. He had a criminal record. People didn't really believe in him. Okay. And he got a job at Frito-Lay. He asked a lot of questions. He like just exercised his enterprising spirit. And one day he came home with some product that didn't have any dust on it. Oh. And he was like, well, the company's doing really badly. Everybody's getting furloughed. What can I do? And it turns out he just reached into his own culture and the ingredients that his family cooked with all the time. And he created flame and hot wow, Cheetos. Wow, I had no idea. Yeah, what and a it, great story. It literally saved the company. But is it a good movie? I loved it. Oh, good. Okay. I was great. so into it. I, not only did I want the snacks, but I was so inspired. Yeah. And Eva Longoria, who we know mostly as an actress from shows like Desperate Housewives, yeah. um, she's not a first-time director, and it shows. This is a good movie, good. and I was like hanging on every word. I, I was okay. very into Put this. Put that one on the list. Uh, we want to talk about The Crowded Room, starring Tom Holland, uh, who said this movie was exhausting <laughs> to make. We yeah. ran that story, I think, earlier this week, that he's just he's beat up, worn out, chewed up, spit out, going to take time off. Right. And like we, this is our live action Spider-Man too. So we really put him through the ringer. And this is a TV show on Apple TV Plus. It's about 10 episodes. Okay. And so the thing is that Danny, his character, is accused of a very serious crime. And Amanda Seyfried has to get to the bottom of it through an investigation, asking him a lot of questions. So many twists and turns in this one. The drawback is it it puts the slow into slow burn. Uh, yeah, too long. You gotta commit to this one. Oh, no, and I'm, I'm out. <laughs> despite the fact, yeah, sorry, right? It's like despite the fact that it's like beautifully shot and really well acted. I got a little antsy, okay. and I'm only like a couple episodes in. So. Oh, all right. Well, hits and misses. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Another week in the summer. Thank you, Gray. You got.